Welcome everyone. Today I want to talk about the state of crypto and FTX and its lingering effects on the market. And I think the best weapon that we have against some of these failing centralized exchanges is to get your crypto off of the centralized exchanges. Remember the term, not your keys, not your crypto. And that inspired this video today of me setting up a ledger nano s plus wallet so i'm going to get into that and walk you step by step on how i'm setting up my wallet and if you find any of the content today of any substance and is very helpful or helpful to you please consider hitting that like button it means a lot to me as well as if you like the, uh, the content on my channel please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell to be notified when i come out with new content so let's get into it so if we look at the fear and greed market right now, for the past month until present, we've been in extreme fear. And that could be for a multitude of reasons. Global, economically, we're not doing well. We still have the war going on. Europe is economic downturn. We have inflation and the Fed and them trying to combat it. So we have a lot of headwinds with the crypto market and it's impacting risk on assets, which is speculative assets such as crypto. And we've been in extreme fear for a while. Um, so that is impacting the market, and I'm not surprised that we are in extreme fear, and we could be for a little while longer. Now, if we want to look at the heat map, you see that Bitcoin still remains under 17,000. ETH is still under 1,200. Um, and you know, you have Solana with the FTX relationship. They are under 15 um, from like two weeks ago. They're 50% less than what they were. So just red all around, and there's some green trickling in there. But for the main part, we're moving sideways and, um, you know, the market's not doing too hot at the moment, but it is a bear market. So we have to realize that and understand that. But the purpose of this video today is me getting my crypto off the of centralized exchanges using a ledger cold wallet. So going on to the website here, I see that, you know, um, website's pretty clean. And, you know, I, most of the time when I review projects, I always look at the website because it's a good representation of the project. But here. Ledger has been around for a while and a lot of people in the space trust this wallet. So it's just me just looking at the wallet just to, you know, to see what it's all about or um, the website rather. So basically, um, you know, this is the page here scrolling through protect your crypto and NFTs and tokens from hackers. You know, it's good certified uh, security there. And then they manage over 5,500 digital assets. So one of the big comparisons, because I also have a treasure wallet is that there's more options as far as more types of crypto projects available on the ledger wallet versus the treasure. So, um, you know, keep that in mind if you're in the market to buying a wallet. Here, you can manage your NFT safely. This is also on the website. Um, send and receive NFTs, visualize your collection, secure and own, which is big if you're into NFTs. So I ordered mine from Best Buy and when I got it in Best Buy, this is what it looked like. You know, obviously I'm very, um, I'm, I'm all about security and make sure nothing's tampered with. And you see the packaging here, the way I got it, um, looks pretty good. Make sure that, you know, there was no cracks or anything like that. Any tears, looks good. And that looks good as well. So when I open the boxes, what you get inside, um, you get three recovery booklets. So you can add your recovery phrase in there. You get a keychain, you get a USB cord, and also you get the ledger up top there. Um, I opted to go for the blue, but they have a clear see-through one. They have a black one. Um, I believe they have an orange one. So it's all visually what's appealing to you. You can use that. So step one, you go onto the website and then ledger.com slash start. And then before you download for, you know, um, you have your Windows users, Mac, and me personally, I used an uh, Mac, so then I selected that. And then from that, you go here. After you download the app on your computer, your desktop, and then basically you hit the get started button. And then there, you select the model that you're looking to set up. So for this uh, video, we're gonna do a Ledger Nano S Plus, and I selected that. And then from that, they're going to give you a crypto basics quiz, which I think I find very helpful um, for a lot of people who aren't experts into the space. I'm not an expert by far, um, but it also gives you quizzes and it, you know, just gives you a quiz as far as blockchain, um, cold wallet, you know, what the benefit is of a cold wallet. And I think that's very, very helpful. Good. Um, and then once you, you know, answer the questions there, you go on to the next page. 
And then basically it's a get started menu. So it tells you to turn on the nano, connect your device to your computer with your USB cable, learn how to interact with your device by reading the on-screen instructions, then select set up as new device, and then press both buttons simultaneously to validate the selection. And then four, follow directions or instructions, come back here to follow instructions on your pin code. So step six, the message screen comes up. When connecting, you wanna hit the right button. So here you'll get this message here, welcome to Ledger Nano S Plus, press the right button to continue. Step seven, you wanna hit the right button on your ledger for instructions on menus and list. Step eight, you hit the right button until you see this screen. Then you wanna hit both the left and right buttons. And basically you're setting up your new device. So you can always go hit the left and right button. It's basically to move forward and backwards. If there's a message or a prompt that you wanna follow back on or you weren't quite clear, you wanna hit the left button, which is going backwards, right button's moving forward. Step 10, you wanna choose your pin. Um, your pin is gonna be four to eight digits. And then step 11 is pin code screen acknowledgement. Um, basically on this screen here, it says your pin code is the first layer of security. It physically secures access to your private key and your nano. Your pin code must be four to eight digits long, and then you uh, won't be able to move forward until you acknowledge this. Once you select and you acknowledge, you go on to the next screen. And then here is so you have two, um, two directions basically. You choose your pin code, press left or right button to change digits, and then press both buttons to validate a digit. Select the check mark to confirm your pin code and then select that X to erase a digit. And then the second step is to confirm your pin code, enter your pin code again to confirm it. And then once you confirm it a second time, you want to hit both the left and right buttons simultaneously to confirm that selection. Then step 13 is the recovery uh, phrase uh, generator. And then here you'll see the prompt. You'll know you're in the proper location and you're taking the proper steps. Everything's going fine because you'll see this message that says your device will generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. So you wanna write down your recovery phrase using one of those booklets that was uh, in the box with the ledger. And it's also gonna prompt you to tell you to do the same thing as well, write down your recovery phrase. And then basically you wanna hit the left and right buttons on your device and you will receive your recovery phrase one word at a time. You'll receive one word every time you press the right button. You can always press the left button to go back and check for accuracy. The device will ask you to confirm recovery phrase, the 24 words in the same order, in the correct order. Example, it'll give you word one, and then you hit the right button until you see the word. Then you hit both buttons to select once you see the correct word. So for example, it'll say, what's uh, your re recovery phrase word number one, and it'll give you a list of four numbers. You go back and forth, left and right, until you find the correct one. Once you see it's the correct word in the correct order, you hit both buttons, then you move on to word number two, word number three, and vice, you know, consecutive. Once you confirm by selecting all of the correct words in order, your password has been set. And then you'll see that confirmation. He says your recovery phrase is set. Keep it in a safe and secure place. And you'll get that. You'll see that right on the, uh, the device. After your recovery phrase has been set, then they'll give you another hard, wa hard wallet quiz, only three questions. Once you do that and you, you know, move forward with that, the next step is to confirm that your device has passed a genuine check and is connected. So I did this and then unfortunately, um, I had an error message and I'm happy you did this because I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna run to this as well. And so what I had to do was go back to the setup page and so you click setup and go back to the setup page and then select already have a recovery phrase and then you connect your ledger. So in the beginning, the setup page said, you know, you don't have a ledger, you're setting it up. And then the second option is you already have a recovery phrase. So that's the one we're gonna enter this time. Then you'll have a message that will appear saying that your device is ready once you enter your recovery phrase. Once you do that, then the second prompt is going to say, or the next prompt is going to say, allow ledger manager. Then you want to press the left and right buttons to select that you are allowing this manager to process and move forward. And then it's going to have a prompt saying that your ledger has been registered. So you'll see this up top. It's going to say all good. Your ledger nano S plus is genuine and ready to use with ledger live. 
the next step is to add your account and adding your account is basically adding the cryptos that you want to add onto your wallet and there's a lot of options for them so this is uh this is what you're going to see here so then you want to select the crypto that you're looking for then you want to press the left and right button on the device to select it so for this example we're going to go with cardano ada and then once you select the crypto on your device um, you hit, like I said, the left and right button and you'll see in the, on the device, it's going to say open app Cardano ADA. And then once you select Cardano, it's going to download it. And then you'll see in the list of cryptos there, you'll see that Cardano has been downloaded and you'll see the difference in how you know that it's downloaded. You see the other ones have boxes in purple. Once you have a downloaded project, it's going to say green. You'll see that it's in green. So the next uh, thing here is basically after I repeated the process of all the projects that I want on the wallet, this is what it's going to look like, um, you know, and it has it's highlighted on all my accounts. So all the accounts and all the cryptos that I plan to move on to the wallet, you'll see it there. Um, and if you look to the left, you know, you can check a look at your portfolio. You can look at the market and see how it's doing. You can look at, uh, you know, at the bottom there, you can send, you can receive, buy or sell, swap. So the layout's very clear, very easy to understand. And like I started the video, if it's not, you know, remember, it's not your keys, not your crypto. You know, right now with all these centralized exchanges falling, you know, we thought FTX was one of the safest. You know, they were they seem pretty, pretty solvent. You know, they were buying projects left and right. They even put in a bid to buy in, you know, a little share of Robinhood, a uh, bid to buy Voyager. And they can fall. You know, not everyone's not that safe as we think. So it's better to be defensive and get your stuff off these centralized exchanges until you're ready to move or make some moves with your crypto. So that is the installation program. Um, I'm going to have a new video just showing how to actually move a certain crypto onto the wallet. So this is just a setup video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit the like button. And if you like the content and want to see more of my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I come out with new content. And as always, be safe. And until next time, thank you for your time. Bye.